No country is foreign beneath all uniforms a single body breathes. In every land is common life that all can recognize and understand. When we are told to hate our own brothers, then it is like dispossessing ourselves. We are not respecting our own self. If a man is destroying another nation, he is actually destroying himself and the entire humanity. Hello students, I am Anil, Assistant Professor of English, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Today, we are going to look at a poem, No Men Are Foreign, for the students of second semester BCA. So, No Men Are Foreign. No Men Are Foreign is a poem by James Kirkup. So, what does it say? No men are foreign. It gives us an idea that everybody is one. We are together on this earth. So, in this module, we are going to look at the poet, the theme of the poem and the summary of the poem. James Kirkup is an English poet. So, he is an English poet. He wrote over 30 books including autobiographies, novels and plays. Many of his poems recall his childhood days in the Northeast and are featured in publications. This man is born in England and his poems and novels, they reflect his childhood memories. So this, No Men Are Foreign, is a poem written during the World Wars. So when this poem was written, he reflects why we are quarreling with each other and what should be done and what should not be done. So we will see what is in this poem. The theme of the poem is, it is the human earth that we defile. If we keep on quarreling in the name of nations, in the name of other things, when wars are declared, we are actually defiling the earth. Earth is a sacred place. Our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence of air that is everywhere our own. Remember, no men are foreign and no country is strange. This signifies that the air which is on the earth is same everywhere. And if we destroy or defile or make it dirty, then we are destroying everything as a whole. It is a universal appeal for brotherhood. This poem is... A universal appeal. He is telling all kinds of people that we are not different people. We are all one and we have to live without quarreling or declaring war against each other. Humanity all over the world is alike. If a man is destroying another nation, he is actually destroying himself and the entire humanity. If we go on killing each other, then it is like killing one's own self. That is the theme of this poem. No men are foreign. So, coming to the summary, he starts his poem like this. Remember, keep it in mind, no men are strange. We are not, not known to each other. We are known to each other. No men are strange. No country is foreign beneath all uniforms a single body breathes. He says, no country is foreign. Beneath all uniforms, he is talking about the soldiers. This poem is written during the world war where this man is deeply hurt by the wars. So he writes, beneath all uniforms, that means all soldiers wear uniforms and beneath it, inside it, below it, a single body breathes like ours. Like us, there is a soul and body inside the uniform. It is exactly the same. The land our brothers walk upon is earth like this. So they also walk on the same earth. They are not from any different place or any different planet. They also belong to the same earth like this in which we all shall lie. We have to lie down on this earth. We will end our lives on this earth. On the same earth we all live. Then why are we quarreling? Why are we killing each other in the name called war? They too aware of sun and air and water. Even they know about air, sun and water. They are fed by peaceful habits. They also do agriculture to live, to eat. They also do harvest. By wars long winter starved. When there is war, they also starve like us. When wars are declared, the major attention of any nation shifts to supplying soldiers with food and clothing, with ammunition, everything. When such things happen, People have to starve. So they also starve when wars are declared, just like us. Then, their hands are ours. We are similar. 
their hands are ours. And in their lines we read a labor not different from our own. He says, when you read the lines, that is of labor, hard work, just like ours. So we are similar in all these things. We are under the same sky. We see the same sun. We breathe the same air. We live on the same earth. We do harvest to survive and we starve during wars. They also go through the same situation. Remember, they have eyes like ours. We also see, they also see. That wake or sleep, when we are awake, eyes are open. When we sleep, they are closed. It is same with them as well. Who are them? Mankind. And strength that can be won by love. We all have same strength, which can be won over by love. With love, we can win one another. With love, we can spread harmony. In every land is common life that all can recognize and understand. Wherever you go, places may be different, geography may be different, but the life is the same. All people love peaceful conditions. They love harmony. They want to spread love. They want to live peacefully. So wherever you go, life is same. They recognize and understand each other similarly. Let us remember, whenever we are told to hate our brothers, it is ourselves that we shall dispossess, betray and condemn. So he says, when we are told to hate our brothers, we are hating our own images. Our brothers, we are not hating some aliens, but our own kind. They are our brothers. When we are told to hate our own brothers, then it is like dispossessing ourselves. We are not respecting our own self. And we are betraying our own self and we are condemning our own identity or our own dignity. Remember, we who take arms against each other, if we took weapons against each other to kill one another, it is the human earth that we defile. If we take weapons to kill one another, to fight against each other, then it is like defiling this sacred place called earth. We are actually desecrating the earth. Our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence of air that is everywhere our own. So, our hells of fire, if we bomb each other, if we kill each other, if we set fire on each other, then that hell of fire is destroying the holy place earth similarly. And the dust outrage the innocence of air. It destroys the innocence of air. The pure air gets defiled. So these things happen when wars are declared. Remember, no men are foreign and no country is strange. Remember, therefore, no country, no men are foreign and no country is strange. We know each other. We have to recognize each other. That is what the poet says in this poem. So in the end, what matters? Harmonious living or harmony amongst people. James Kirkup writes this poem during the Second World War. When the World War happens, the people witness poverty, hatred, pain and other things which does not give hope to life. One wants to kill another and the soldiers are fighting with each other in the name of their country. So the poet makes an attempt to convince people that the earth is a sacred place and we are of the same kind. We don't want to destroy each other. If we want to destroy each other, it is like destroying our own self. Our brothers are the images of our own. If we want to kill them, then it is like killing our own conscience. He tries to make an attempt telling that they also go through the same process of life. They also want to spread love. They also want to have peaceful life. Just like the people of our country do. So finally he says, no men are foreign, all are one, and no country is strange. The life wherever you go is similar. You recognize their hard work, you recognize their labor, you recognize their love, you recognize their affection. And finally, they also have eyes like us which see or witness what we see. So why are we fighting against each other? Why are we declaring war against one another? So that is the question he raises through this poem. And finally he says, 
earth is one, it is like a sacred temple and we need not disturb or defile it in the name of war. And in the end he says, everyone is one, no men are foreign. Everybody is our own and no country is strange. We know each other, we live on this earth and we should leave this act of war. That is the message which is in this poem. We shall meet in the next class. Thank you.